He did not know what grass was. He'd only been used to the bottom of a crate. It's grass. When Jordan was first rescued, he fell asleep standing up. He did not know how to lay down. I don't think Jordan had ever been in a home before. He was like sliding all over. Oh, you can do it. It's just a little step. He didn't know what the stairs were. Oh, you just went back and forth and back and forth. Still hasn't learned how to jump on the couch. He didn't know how to play with the other dogs. He inhales food so quickly, it's like he, he didn't know whenever his next meal was gonna come. Jordan was rescued from a puppy mill in Georgia. There were over 700 dogs in cages so cramped that they couldn't even lay down. The owner was a licensed breeder. Puppy mills are run across the nation. When you see these cute little puppies online or in a pet store, oftentimes this is the hell that their parents went through. What I try to focus on instead is the ones that we are able to save. Relish Atlanta is a dog rescue group. We pulled six siblings from the puppy mill. All of the dogs needed TLC and foster homes until they're adopted. I fostered over 500 dogs. I went and picked Jordan up. He was petrified. When I first got Jordan home, he wasn't a dog. We had to teach him how to be one. We have to diaper him up so he's not even remotely house trained. He's still trying to get used to being picked up, so he kind of like freezes. When Jordan first got here, he had no idea how to take treats from my hands, so he would just lick them. Just keep licking it, licking it, licking it, until finally another dog came and took it. <laughs> the home that I really want for Jordan is somebody that has another dog because he learns from the other dog. Jordan is going to find his forever home today. Ann and Kenny are the perfect adopters for Jordan. They're retired, they're home all the time. They rescued and nursed back to health. Their other dog, it'll be perfect for him. My daughter called and said, Mama, this little dog really, really, really needs a home. Well, that was the end of that discussion. We are going to take him home and make him a friend. When she got Bella, I told her, look, I'll pet and be nice, but it's your dog. And the, and dog, the dog will not sleep in the bed. No. As it turned out, she likes Kenny better than me. The dog crawls in my lap every evening when we turn on a football game. The dog sleeps in the bed. Right next to his legs every night. And, well, she's my dog. <laughs> sleep in my bed. Oh boy. And this is Kenny. Gonna sleep in the bed with him too. Oh. He's very skittish. Yeah. It's gonna take him a little bit of time. It's crazy people, I don't know what's going on. It's all right, buddy. It's just gonna take some time and just being good to him. Oh, hey, there's Bella. How's your brother? This is your sister. Oh, Bella, you going up the stairs? Oh. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jordan. Once he goes up, he won't come down because he doesn't know how to come down. It's okay, Bella. Daddy's coming right back. Kenny's one of these. He kind of warms up slowly. Welcome back. Dogs can sense. He really isn't as tough as he would like for you to think. <laughs> I know. jumped up. I've never seen all Jordan. He likes her. I think he's going to be a great fit with Bella. Okay. Thank you so much. Congrats, buddy. Maybe we hit the jackpot. Oh, bless its heart. Come on, sweetness. Come on. He might, yeah, he probably needs to be carried. It's okay. okay. Thanks so much. We're going to Mississippi. Call Bella a hymn and call Jordan a girl. <laughs> she Lord, Lord, this driveway. We should be there in not too very, very long. And uh oh, took a wrong turn. I can't wait to see what Jordan's going to do when we get out. He's had a lot of changes in his life in a short period of time. Can you open your seatbelt, please? I'm so excited. The town where we live, it's in the Mississippi Delta. 
Jordan can run and rip and do whatever he wants to do. In the fall, we have lots of leaves that he could play with. We have lots of cats in the neighborhood to chase. Yes, dear, thank you. I need all the help I can get when I've been behind the wheel nine hours. I can't wait to see what Jordan's gonna do when we get out. Jordan, you're home. Come on, sweet pie. I know. It's a new place. Where do you where are you going, Jordan? Going in the front seat? You can get out the front seat if you'd like. Hey, it's okay. I've got you. There. There we go. Bella, show Jordan his new house. There we go. There we go. This is your new home. Jordan was so excited. He ran around into every room and smelling everything. Just looking at where he's going to be living from now on. Thank goodness for belly bands. He found the food and the water. I want him to know that that is there every day. Do you see that nice big backyard? This is gonna be your favorite place. Come on. Isn't that precious? Before, he would not even touch the grass. Yay! He just, he, he looks like he's just amazed. Finding out that there's more to life than what he knew. He is acting like a dog. I, you know, maybe he knows this is his new home. It's been about a month. Jordan's come a long, long way now. He loves to go outside. Once we got home, it was like, okay, this is your home too. We all want to be happy, find ourselves a family. He seems to like my grandchildren. As long as you rub him, he will be there. Jordan has his own bed. He no longer has to stand up to sleep. He loves his bed. We all want to be happy, find ourselves a family. He probably has a lot of time to make up laying down. He can lay down every day, all day, if that's what he wants to do. Jordan is the new member of our family. If you just show the least bit of love to Jordan, you're going to get back 50-fold in return. The big picture hope for Jordan is just that he feels loved. You know, all animals want you to do is love them. We all ourselves a family we all wish to find our way through the midst of love and pain